this service is very powerful service. Ki service mataka kudu. Why? Because our Lord has risen. Leba kamara na wara na utsungine. Deuteronomy 31 from verse 1. Deuteronomy 31 retume mola o verse 1. Read, Mama. So Moses went and spoke these words to all Israel. And he said to them, I am a hundred and twenty years old today. I am no longer able to come in and go out as your spiritual and military leader. And the Lord has said to me, you shall not cross this Jordan. It is the Lord your God who will cross ahead of you. He will destroy these nations before you. And you shall dispossess them. Joshua is the one who will go across before you to lead you just as the Lord has said. The Lord will do to them just as he did to Sion and Og, the kings of the Amorites, and to their land when he destroyed them. The Lord will hand them over to you and you shall do to them in accordance with all the commandments which I have commanded you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or tremble in dread before them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Then Moses called to Joshua and said to him, in the sight of all the people of Israel, be strong and courageous, for you will go with these people into the land which the Lord has sown to their fathers to give them. And you will give into them as an inheritance. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to understand an expression. Uh, the words that were given to Joshua. When Joshua was called among people. And he kneeled down. And Moses was saying and a moshe na bulela the whole congregation abulela si chaba ka muka i cannot continue na nka sa gona u tshela pele in other words my time of death has come ka nna ko mantsha mangwe na ko ya ka ya u tuwa ya u sipila i khwifitile but god has chosen this man mara modi mo hla u tshi muthu monna sho so that he takes you on the other side ora le tshi ya fitele le na le yeng ka nthengela he takes you to where he has promised. There are words that he said, I will be with you. He will never abandon you. God will never leave you. Just write, I will be with you. Those are the words that we utter also by our Lord Jesus Christ. What is the meaning of that expression? Why there will be words Why when someone is about to take over, there will be a promise of, I will be with you. Those words have anchored from Genesis. Where God was promising his people, I will not fail you. I will not abandon you. I will be with you. You will take over that. Land. When God says, I will be with you, telling the whole congregation, telling Joshua, 
It was because it was not easy when Moses was leading. When Moses goes away with victory, Many challenges were expected. But the promise of God is, I'm still going to be with you. When I read the book of Joshua, chapter 3 from verse 5, God promised Joshua there that Joshua, Joshua, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. If you can read that verse there, Joshua was promised, but there was a day that was set of showing that God is with him. Can we read from verse 5? Uh -huh. Then Joshua said to the people, yes. Sanctify yourselves for your, his purpose. For tomorrow the Lord will do wonders, meaning miracles among you. Verse 7. Verse 7. The Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify and exalt you in the sight of all Israel, so that they may know that just as I was with Moses, will also be with you. I will also be with you. I will also be with you. Can you hear that? Now, after God has spoken that I will never abandon you, there was a day that was set. That day God declared this is the day that people will know that I'm with you. Just as I was with Jesus, they will know I'm with you. Listen, there's a day that has been set for you. The promise has been uttered. But that promise will come to pass one day. You are here today when we are celebrating Resurrection Day, there's a promise that was given that there will be a day on that day the Lord God will show that he is with you. Many of you, when you look around like what happened to Joshua, you find you are still depending. You are still thinking what is it that will happen? But there's a message from God. This is the day. This is the day to prove that I'm with you. Listen to this. God wants to prove that you cannot do it on your own. God wants to prove that those who know that you cannot do it on your own, they will know that you are not alone. You are with your God. If you read Joshua 1, from verse 2 now, just go there. Joshua 1 from verse 2. Joshua chapter 1, verse 2. Can you just read there? Moses, my servant, is dead. Uh -huh. Now therefore arise to take his place. Yes. Cross over this Jordan, you and all these people, yes. into the land which I am giving to them, mm. to the sons of Israel. Mm. I have given you every place on which the sole of your foot treads. Just as I promised to Moses. Can you hear that? The Bible said, Now God spoke. And said, Hey, Moses is dead. You arise. Don't 
cry and weep. Oh, it is time now to arise. Sometimes we are worried about what is happening around us. Not knowing it is time now to arise. Pastor, it is time now to arise. Tell them it is time now to arise. Listen to this. Stop complaining about the loss. The Lord is aware. Moses, my servant, is dead. I know it is your loss. But now it is your time to arise now and stand up for your ground to take over. There is something that the Lord said. He said, Joshua, Joshua, when you put a land where you are going, you have taken the land. What God was saying, don't stay one place. If you do that, you will take one Begin to move to the promise. Fix yourself and move towards what I promise. It's not the time of looking on what has happened. It is the time of looking at the promise and work towards the promise. Work towards the promise. Work towards the promise. Move towards the promise. You have been sitting, Hello, try to amend, and try to fix the things that cannot be fixed. God is aware. God is aware. He said he's with you. Rise up. The loss has happened, but it will never happen again. It is a time to fulfill of the living God. Let me show you on Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. If you read from verse 16 to, to verse 20, what the Lord said when he resurrected them. What is it that he said when he resurrected? Just read. Verse 16. Verse 16, Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Verse 16 says, uh -huh. Now uh -huh. the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain which Jesus has designated. Yes. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted that it was really he. Yes. Jesus came up and said to them, All authority... All power of absolute rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Help the people to learn of me, believe in me, and obey my words, baptizing them mm -hmm. in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. Can you hear those words again? Can you hear those words again? Lo, I'm with you. It won't be your ability. It is me with you. If you are going there, you are not going alone. You are going to make people to understand who I am. But let's look at the scriptures. The Bible says, he, he told them, he said, let's go and meet in the mountain of Galilee. We will meet there. And they went there with expectation. There were words that the Lord spoke before he was crucified. He says, a little while, I'll be with you. A little while, I won't be with you. It's a little while. 
I will be with you. A little while I will be with you. He said, The world will rejoice. But you, you will cry. But your tears will turn to joy. Now, now, the Lord Jesus resurrected. Them. They were excited, but they were still doubting. Some of them were questioning, Is he him? Is, is he still the Lord? And he said, Let's meet. When he reached there, he said, All authority. All authority has been given to me. You know what he was saying? Nothing will happen until I accept it to happen. Nothing will happen. If if I'm not accepting it to happen, it will happen because I've accepted it to happen. And all authority in heaven on earth, in heaven on earth, here in heaven on earth, all authority has been given to him. In other words, Satan doesn't have power. Doesn't, Satan doesn't do anything. If he does something, something. I have allowed it. Why God can allow Satan to do the best thing. He wants to prove it. that you are the sustainer. You are more than the conquerors. You can overcome whatever that is happening to you is temporary. All authority has been given to me so you go without fear. You go with authority. It is the same authority that I'm giving to you. Let me give an example. In Matthew 10, from verse 1, if you read there, one day Jesus called the disciples and he gave them authority over sickness, all kinds of diseases, and all kinds of demons. He gave them authority. When they move out, the disease could heal them. Because it's authority that makes you to be in control, in command. When you've got authority, you're able to say something and see it be done. I don't know if you're hearing me. When you've got authority, you've got power to change everything. You have got power to change any situation. The Bible says they were given authority to heal all kinds of diseases. Today we have got authority and we are still sick. Don't forget that sickness is temporary. Is there to prove that the Lord is with you? Is there to prove that the Lord in you will rise up? I said the Lord in you will rise up. He will begin to show his power if you believe shit. Shout out hallelujah. I'm not afraid of what I'm going through because I found the authority that we have been given. Jesus said, whatever happened, it happened because of authority. I have allowed it. If he has allowed it, he has allowed the tempter to tempt you. But that tempter cannot kill you. It's dead to faith. Just as I say, hey, my enemies are dead. They are fighting the losing battle. Why? Because I'm with the Lord. I'm not alone. I'm with the Lord. He said he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Listen to this. Can we read uh, Matthew? Let's read Matthew. When I was reading Matthew 16, I began to understand the, the authority in verse 19. Matthew 16, verse 19. Let's read that Mateo verse. Matthew 16, uh -huh. verse 19. Uh -huh. Read. Read. It says, I will give you the keys. The keys. Meaning authority of the kingdom of heaven. 
the keys. And whatever you bind, meaning forbid, declare, uh -huh. to be improper and unlawful on earth, yes. will have already been bound in heaven. Yes. And whatever you lose, meaning permit, declare lawful yes. on earth, will have already been loosed in heaven. Can you hear that? Can you hear this verse? Here, Jesus was saying, Peter, because you found who I am, who is me, now you understand by the revelation that I am Christ. Because of the revelation of understanding me, there are keys of heaven. There are keys of heaven. When the devil locked the room, the room of riches, so that you turn around with poverty, there's a key to open the door. And, and you, you enter inside. inside. When there's sickness, some devil want to give you and kill you. There are keys. Authority you have been given. Whatever you say. God allowed it in heaven. If God says you are not sick, though you are feeling pain, you are not sick. Oh, I don't know if you are hearing me. If God says you are not sick, the body might be feeling pain. But I am here to tell you you are not sick. Because God says you are not sick. You might be poor right now. In heaven, you are not poor. If you are rich, Heaven, even here on earth, you are rich. There's authority that you have been given. I don't know if you are hearing me. The Lord is with you. When you move, you are not alone. Me, me I'm not surprised. Mom, I spoke with Mama. Can I buy her? Can I buy her something? Mama said yes. I said okay because you are going home. I will pass tears. This thing is real. It happened to me. I, I went. It's called drive through. I, I call it drive in. I drive in. I went to park close to the window. When I look at the person I wanted to buy, she began to cough. Oh, 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 oh. I said, what's going on with my sister? Oh, oh, oh. When I look, I saw what she was wearing. I understand authority. I understand authority. I understand she cannot I give me food. When she's wearing what she's wearing. Listen, sometimes there are some delays. I saw a delay when I was there. So she said, oh, oh, oh. She began to turn around. I don't understand what is happening. I understood what was happening. Because I'm waiting for the right person. Listen, when you are waiting for the right thing, there's going to be a delay. But that delay is for you to have a right connection. I don't know if you are hearing me. When she was busy coughing, I look at her. I look at her sister. Look at me. And now a right person came. I said, we don't know what is happening. I said, I understand what is happening. When there is something that is coming from Satan, there is a delay because God must be praised. He is with you. He will kick it aside. Sometimes you can be denied. But that Daniel is progress for you. God is connecting you with the right source. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I see a right source. I see a right connection. I see a right victory. The Lord is with you. I say he's with you. Those things are working in a way that you don't want to see. I'm here to tell you the Lord is about to do a new thing in your life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I prophesy. 
prophesy someone here prophesy that some of you, you are tired. You feel hey, now it's over with you. you. But my God is waiting. He's waiting for this day. This day, he will start to magnify you. He will start to raise you. Those who think it's over with you. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is here. The Lord is risen. He's with you. I say he's with you. I say he's with you. Shout and say he's with me. Say he's with me. Can you shout several times? He's with me. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I preach like he is risen. I preach like he is risen. Because my God is no longer in the grave. He is here for you. Listen, the failure of the past will never happen to you. Because you are not alone. Say, I'm not alone. I'm with my God. I'm with my God. When I fail, he has allowed it. When I fall, he has allowed it. Everything happened for good. For those who are called, who are loved by God, today is your day. I see the power of God upon you. I see anointing upon you. I see the mercy of God upon you. It is your time. He is with you. 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 Yeah, listen, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. When the Lord God looked down at what happened to Jesus, he was not so happy. Though he knew even Jesus himself, the Bible says he was having sorrow. Sorrow. Listen, sorrow will never live. Sorrow to be sorrowful is not to be sinful. Can you tell about it? To be sorrowful is not to be sinful. Because you can be sorrowful. Why? Because what you are facing has been allowed, which is not your expectation. You can go through things that you were not expecting and you find your strength in the things that you have never desired. And you can be sorrowful. You can be sorrowful and patient. Jesus said, let your will be done. Let it not my will. According to my will, this I could not accept it. This I could try to find some ways of changing them. Sometimes with their things that we need to change by ourselves because we are tired of what we are facing. But it is the will of God that does not mean that the Lord God has left us. It has allowed it. He has allowed it. Listen to this. Matthew 16, verse 33. 16, verse 16. 16. Yes, 16, verse 16. Read it again. Oh, 16, verse 16. Yes. It says, Simon Peter replied, Yes. You are the Christ. The Messiah, mm -hmm. the anointed, the son of the living God. Then Jesus answered him, blessed, meaning happy and spiritual, secure, favored by God are you, Simon, son of Jonah. Because flesh and blood, meaning mortal men, did not reveal this to you, but my father who is in heaven. Read Mark 11. Mark 11, verse 27, listen to that. It says, they came again to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And as Jesus was walking in the court and porches of the temple, yes. the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him and began saying to him, by what authority are you doing these things? Mm. Or who gave you this authority to do these things? 
Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question and you answer me, then I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John, meaning John the Baptist, from heaven that is ordained by God or from men? Answer me. They, become, they began discussing it with each other saying, huh? if we say from heaven, he will say, then why did you not believe him? But shall we say from men, they were afraid to answer because of the crowd. For everyone considered John to have been a real prophet. Yes. So they replied to Jesus, we do not know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you what authority I do these things. My God. Can you hear that? Amen. It takes a very simple thing. Each year fella Jebunolan to be under the covering we are talking about. He is with you. When you know who he is. By believing in him. By believing in him. The moment when you know I believe in him. Is him. Like Peter said, you are Christ, the Son of the Living. And Jesus says, you have the keys. Now. By saying that you have the keys, the authority you have it. Whatever you say, you see it. One day Jesus was saying, this tree, no one will eat fruits from it. They enter the city. Came back. Peter said, ah, what kind of authority is like that? I mean, I mean the, 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 the trees, trees right up to the roots. We need to speak. And we eat the fruits of our ways. This is the time now. Because we are not alone. If we are with him. We are having something that. That we are supposed to do. What he has done. We are to do above. We cannot be ordinary. We cannot be ordinary. I was telling people. There I said. If I didn't hear God. I won't have rest. Pastor can you see now. I preach here. When I finish I call my son. To come and minister here. I spoke the word. It brought forth the result. I don't know if you're hearing me. There are things that we are busy in Using all our efforts. Which we were not supposed to. We were supposed to speak the words by understanding who are we in Christ. If you understand that, it is over with you. You know, I read, I read, I read Genesis 26 from verse 1 to 3. Just, just for Isaac to believe what God said. Isaac, a, can you see? There's a drought everywhere. There's a famine. Now you, you are thinking about going to Egypt. If you go, if you go back to Egypt, you, you want me to, like I didn't start the job. You, you, you are trying something that is like I didn't start the job. Remember the job I've done. The job that I've done is already complete. I don't want to do it double. I will do it later. Not now with you. You are a child of blessing. Listen to me. Jacob, 
Stand in the land of Philistine. If you dwell there, I will be with you. I will be with you. When you are there, I will be with you. It just takes us to believe. Just to believe what God spoke. If we believe what he said, it's over, it's final. Uh, I don't know if you are here. The Bible says that Isaac became very rich man. The Bible says he sojourned. He says, in other words, he was like a person who came to stay. When he doesn't have papers. When he didn't even understand how the system of the government worked in that land. But God himself make him to be sustained and he, he become more better than everyone who stayed there. It is time now that we need to know that we are not alone we are with God. You are not alone with your God. By yourself, you cannot do anything. I pray that today the Lord will guide you in whatever you do. He is about to lead you because he is with you. He will he will never leave you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you. When I was called, I give me try. When I was called, when I was still running away from my call, I give me try. Get to teach chaba chaba get chaba pitch. There is something I told God. I say God, everybody knows me. Ah, but when I leave to run, Siba. If I just say. I'm called. People will deny my family. They know my history. That I hated church. Now, if I say I'm called, what will happen? God say I will be with you. You will do things that nobody has ever done. I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen to this. The Lord wants to do something. You you will do things that nobody in your family has ever done. Oh, I can't hear you, Amen. Let us all stay.